Today we're going to talk about patience. The Bible says this, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Or, as we said before, there's nothing that can stand against this beautiful fruit of the Spirit when it's being manifest in your life, when you're growing in it, when you're walking in it. Now today we're talking about patience. Now listen to what patience means. Patience talks about endurance. It's um, long-suffering, patience, consistency. It's perseverance. Then it, it says this also, that patience is to abide, to bear under trials, to stay under it, <clears throat> to undergo, not to recede or flee, to per pers persevere. And it says, under misfortunes and trials, to hold fast to your faith in Christ, to endure bravely and calmly ill treatment. And God wants a people, it says, one says cheerfulness or hopefulness in the midst of this, to, to have cheerfulness and hopefulness, hopefulness even when you're walking in difficult places. All of us have had to wait, and most of us don't like to wait. But I'll tell you what. If you're going to receive the gifts that God has for you, if you're going to, to be the person that God has for you, if you're going to bear the fruit that God wants you to bear in your life, then you're going to have to be a person of patience. Fruit takes a while to, to develop. Jesus told a parable about the sower and the seeds. And the seed is the word of God and the ground is our hearts. One type of seed was sown on rocky soil. And that rocky soil, the Bible says, these are the ones that have heard the word of God with joy. But when hardship and difficulties come, they turn away from the faith because they weren't rooted and grounded. What? They weren't able to endure. They weren't able to press through. They weren't able. They didn't have patience in the midst of the hardships and the trials that every one of us will go through. Now, it says that, the, that another seed is the seed that was sown on good ground. The seed that was sown on good ground are those that hear the word of God and they hold it fast. And it says this, that they bear fruit with endurance or with patience. They bear fruit. What? How do they bear fruit? Well, they keep on keeping on. They keep on holding fast. They're patient. They endured. And one of the definitions, again, with cheerfulness, they endure. It's the fruit of the Spirit. The Bible says this in James, the first chapter, says, Count it all joy when you encounter various trials, knowing this, that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance or patience have its perfect result in you that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. What does patience do? Well, when you're walking in patience and you keep under it and you don't give up, God says he's going to produce something beautiful in your life. He's going to produce the fruit of God in your life, his character in your life. Paul was talking about one of the requirements of the ministry. And he says this, behold, now is the day of salvation. Behold, now is the acceptable time. And then he talks about the ministry, giving no cause for offense in anything, in order that the ministry be not discredited, but in everything proving yourself to be servants of God in much endurance or patience and hardship and difficulties. But what's the first thing he says? He says, with much endurance and with much patience, you've got to be a person that you keep on keeping on in the midst of hardship and difficulties. You've got to be a person that does that. One of the ways that you can keep on keeping on when you don't see what you want to see, when it seems like the promises are so far out of your reach, and yet God has said that it's yours. One of the ways that you can endure is that you keep on remembering the faithfulness of God, you keep your eyes fixed upon Jesus Christ. If you'll do that, then you'll be a person that's able to endure. Donnie wrote a song one time. It was, it goes like this. Mighty soldiers stand. This is a course for the battle is the Lord. You've seen his hands so many times before you've seen his hands. And the whole song is about keeping on, keeping on in the midst of the battle when everything seems like there's no hope, but God is faithful. You just keep on keeping on. You've seen his hand so many times before. Timothy 
was ta- Paul was talking to Timothy in, in 1 T- Timothy. He says and this, this command I entrust to you, Timothy, my son, my son, according to the prophecies previously spoken to, the, to you, that by these prophecies you fight a good fight of faith, keeping faith and a clean conscience, which some have neglected and suffered shipwreck in regard to their, pro- to their faith. What God says, what? Remember what God's spoken. Remember those prophecies that have been spoken over you, who you are in God, what God has for you. Remember when the when you open the Bible and there's scriptures that jumped off the page that you knew were yours. God says, remind yourself of those things. Remind yourself of who he is and you'll be able to keep on keeping on, keep on do- enduring. The Bible says this in Hebrews 10, 35, do not throw away your confidence. It has a great reward for you have need of endurance so that when you've done the will of God, you may receive what was promised. Did you hear that? You have need of what? Patience, endurance, so that when you've done the will of God, you know what? You're going to receive what was promised. God is producing character in you, something beautiful. He's producing the beautiful fruit of the spirit in your life. And you have need of endurance. Don't throw away your confidence. Don't give up in the midst of the battle. Keep on keeping on. Keep on being patient. And you'll receive what God has promised you. There's a story about a woman named Beth Ann DeSantis. She wanted to qualify for the 1992 Olympics as a marathon runner. And for her to qualify for this marathon, to be a marathon runner in the Olympics, she was going to have to run 27 miles and 385 yards. And she had to do it in less than two hours and 45 minutes. So... When she began running, she was doing great. But when she hit mile 23, she started having difficulties. She she was tired and and, um, um, just sweating and um, she needed, she was just stumbling along. But she kept on keeping on. And when she was finally down to the last leg of her her, um, marathon run, she falls. And she gets back up and she starts running again. She runs a little ways and as she's running and she's just doing, trying to make up that lost time with her fall, she falls again. And this time she's down for like 20 seconds and people are looking at their clocks and they realize that she only has like two minutes before she is disqualified as an Olympic runner. So she gets up but this time she falls and she starts crawling she crawls and she crawls and she's crawling and crawling she's disoriented she she just she's trying to keep on keeping on she ha- does not give up and she crawls over the finish line with 2 seconds remaining she qualified for the 1992 marathon olympics she qualified because she didn't give up because she persevered the bible says this in hebrews the 12th chapter it says since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us let us run this race with endurance or with king james says with patience let us run this race with patience fixing our eyes on jesus the author and the perfecter of our faith who for the joy set before him, he what? He endured. He endured. He stayed under it. He was patient. He endured the cross, despising the shame. And he sat down at the right hand of the Father. Hey, God is looking for people that you're running this race with great patience. You're you're not overcome when you look at the things that haven't happened, but you look at the faithfulness of God. You remember his promises for you. You run this race with patience. You're patient with others. You put up with them. You endure. God is the God. The Bible says in Romans, he's the God of all patience. He's the God that will give you the patience that you need as you come to him. Again, the fruit of the spirit. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from abiding in the Lord Jesus Christ, abiding in God. It's a work of the spirit of God in your life. So you have a wonderful week and know this, this God of all patience, he will give you the patience that you need in the midst of the hard places that you're going through. 
He loves you. God bless you. Bye-bye.